uh, after installation of this of Siebel server, uh, the Siebel configuration wizard database configuration wizard becomes available under start. Uh, once you go to Windows, start um, uh, icon, and then you can pick. Uh, kind of drill go down to Siebel and then you can find the database configuration wizard in there. So we'll start with the database installation. Uh, I will use Microsoft SQL Server. If you recall in the first steps I created uh, uh, my Siebel database in Microsoft SQL Server 2016 developer edition. I'll install database. Pick uh, install Siebel database. Yes, I wish to install a new database. Actually, let's try. No, I have already. I already have a Siebel database installed because I, I did create the database and I did uh, uh, generate the statements from grant user dot uh, So I will choose this grand user .sql has been run uh, the server hostname is correct uh, and my the name of my database is my Siebel. I called my database my Siebel. Clicking next here, and uh, I want to install a Unicode database. Database username will be Sadman. Database table owner will be SA. And the repository selection will have binary sort order. Uh, this is the default uh, SQL Server port number 1433. This is correct. Security role is SSE role, this is correct too. And I'll choose a default um, output directory. Yes, I want to apply changes now. I'll save my um, response file in log files folder. to make changes okay so let's see here I'll start my Siebel um, database configuration after adding all these parameters creating passing all these parameters this will take a while so once I see that it uh, gets going I will pause uh, recording Okay, so this is creating all the tables, uh, entering seed data, and as I mentioned, this will take a while. So I'm pausing recording now and uh, restart when this is done. And I'm resuming recording on my computer. It took about one hour and a half to execute all the steps, but uh, all steps are completed successfully. And 
this ends the uh, uh, the installation of the database as uh, I think I mentioned when before I started is I created a an empty shell using the create database statement before running um, uh, the installation wizard and I did run um, some statements and they are documented in the first uh, recording on that series of installation of Siebel IP 2017 to create logins and users and roles in the database and this is uh, was done prior to running the configuration wizard. There is uh, one more thing that I'm going to do before I finish. Uh, I'll I will update statistics in my Siebel database after that massive uh, operation it was just completed and this may also run for a while so I have database my Siebel and I'll type exec sp update stats So this may run for a while, I will finish recording right now, uh, but that's a good uh, thing to do after uh, the amount of uh, inserts that were just uh, done in that database.